Hi. Uh, welcome back to another video. And uh, you know, uh, recently I got two of these messages. Uh, so two of my friends, they recently got officially divorced, and they messaged me saying that you know, finally uh, divorced. And it's kind of a big thing in India. You know, women messaging each other and actually trying to celebrate this thing that how they are able to get out of marriages they were not so happy. So I thought, why not talk about this rising trend of you know, people or women specifically who are getting out of relationships, who are getting out of marriages, and I am actually telling the world that you know you are getting divorced. Now you have to understand the background in in this context. Okay, it's not so easy in India when you think about a marriage. You know, it it means a lot. It, for a lot of us, we were brought up this, with this concept, you know, like this is it, this is the end. Your whole life, you'll be struggling. You'll be there'll be Shah Rukh Khan from Bollywood. There will be this this love of your life, and when you meet this person, you're supposed to get married. That is it. That's the ultimate goal of life. But nobody ever tells you what really happens after the marriage. So today's video, I'm going to try, you know, just figuring it out what is happening in the today, uh, the new kind of relationships, so-called modern love. Why is that a lot of women are walking out of this these kind of marriages, and why is that being divorced is finally getting accepted? You know, it's getting okay. When we were growing up in India, a lot of us, uh, and I'm giving you the context of India, our idea of relationship is our parents. And in mo most of our cases, uh, our parents have been together forever, forever, forever. And if you look at our grandparents, they also have been living together. So this idea of you know two individuals not getting along and then separating was just not there, just not there. So when we started, you know, even when some people started saying, you know, this is not working out, the marriage is not working out. I don't want to be with this person. It, there was no really support. Now, when I was saying some time back, uh, marriages in India are very, you know, it's not like a contract. It's more of a spiritual thing. It's more of something, you know, it's very religious. It's very ceremonial. There's a saying in India that it's not two people getting married. It's two families getting married. And it means a lot. You know, it's very intense for people who are getting it. So, in such a scenario, it's very difficult to leave from a relationship. It's very difficult to admit to anybody, you know, that this is not working out. And this is where I feel like this new, you know, this new generation of women, this new, a lot of people. I mean, I'm actually happy that I know far too many people who are divorced, which also means that they are willing to take that huge risk. They're willing to admit to themselves that, you know, this is not working out. I am not my parents. I'm not my grandparents. I want something more. This is not enough. For the longest time, most of these marriages or relationships are all about tolerance. I have heard this so many times, you know. It's okay. What were you expecting? Marriage is all about, you know, tolerating each other. Marriage is all about, you know, uh, just, just suffering. Marriage is all about just being there. When you will get old, who will be there? So this, this thing, you know, this, this idea of when you will be old, who will be there has always been behind us, a lot of us. So it's terrifying for a lot of us to finally say that, you know, I am willing to break this marriage, leave this marriage and be okay with staying alone until I figure out my next step or until I figure out, you know, what is the next best thing in my life. So a lot of these people, like I said, are moving out of relationships. They are willing to file divorces. People are actually posting photos of, you know, yay, finally divorce. And I think so we need to be there out talking about it. We need to be, you know, able to celebrate this. Now you might say that, you know, uh, all these relationships are breaking, you know, society is breaking. What is the point? People have become so self-centered. I do understand. It is very scary. You know, people are not holding on to the relationships. People don't want to try. But think about all the lives. Just think about, you know, how miserable one has to be in a relationship. What is the point of being in a relationship? I always say this. Love has an expiry date, okay? You can't love a person forever. This is Bollywood. Nahi hota hai. But you would like to grow with someone. That is something possible. That is really possible that I want to be with someone and I want to grow old with this person. I get that. And I'm willing to put the effort for that. So if there is somebody out there who's making you feel like that, you know, I want to grow with this person. This, this person gives me a chance to grow. This person gives me a chance to fail. That person is worth fighting for. For that, you don't need to be married. Be it any kind of relationship. I mean, be it romantic, be it friendship, you need to fight for that. 
but just because you're in a marriage just because there's so much of commitment there's just so much of pressure from outside it is not worth it because you know it's better i mean in today's world your life expectations are high you know expectancy has gone till 90 years old if you are with somebody you don't like for the imagine if you're 30 years old at least you'll be around for 50 more years for the next 50 years you have to drink every day morning coffee with this person every day you need to have a dinner every day you need to have a small talk imagine how much of torture is that but instead of that at the age of 30 you suddenly realize it's not working and if you end it and then you start all over again you still have 54 50 more years to explore to have those wonderful coffees every morning to have amazing conversations in the evening to have those wonderful dinner and we all deserve that to all those people out there who are thinking of divorcing who are thinking of you know admitting to themselves i would say go ahead do it because we owe it to ourselves we owe the right to be happy we owe the right to create beauty and we can only do that if you're really happy and satisfied so let me know if you do ha- know people if you do have friends who are struggling with it and please send them this video saying that you know there are a lot of people out there doing this and we are really happy for you to be able to make this decision bye